We'll all be watching around us these days as people either conform to face mask wearing or push their luck and refuse to do so. It reminds me of the habit church-going people have when we are in a different setting from normal, that we look at the clothes the people around us are wearing. Some churches are all suits and ties, dresses and hats. Some gatherings are jeans and jumpers, blouses and trousers. Despite ourselves, we're all prone to be a bit critical of how others put their faith values into practice in public. Today we hear how Pharisees reacted to the disciples of Jesus. It's from Mark chapter 7, verses 1 to 8. The Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. The Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing, holding to the tradition of the elders. When they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash, and they observe many other traditions, such as the washing of cups, pitchers and kettles. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, Why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders, instead of eating their food with defiled hands? He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites. As it is written, these people honour me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. You have let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human traditions. I think Pharisees would have had no problem with the government slogans these days to wash your hands and keep your distance. But the inner tendency we have to condemn is an ugly thing and understanding and generosity of spirit is a much better approach. Let us be careful to keep our rules to a minimum. I think about 10 would be good. And to keep our opinions kind and positive wherever possible. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us and write these your laws in our hearts. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to intercede for us in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace. Let's confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may walk in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope today you have a good day and I look forward to seeing you in the car park in Kalini tomorrow at 12 and masks at the ready in Carriduff at 10 o'clock. See you then.